Hey guys, welcome to my new weekly vlog. This week I am actually very worried because I'm not sure if I can do a weekly vlog on time. Because starting from Friday, I have a big event that is held on my company. And also, I'm not even sure if I can actually film something because I might be very busy doing work and doing something else. I'm gonna go to Chamsi Lotte Tower like Friday, Saturday, Sunday for sure. And after that, that I don't have the plans yet so I'm not sure but anyway I'm gonna be super busy going there and checking the venue and the event so that was what I was thinking recently and today is Saturday and I am starting my weekly vlog with my marketing study today is like the official study day so we are going to meet in Yangjae and do this study for like 3 or 4 hours I hope we go to a cute cafe later on after the study and I'm gonna come back home, edit more, and then upload YouTube and blah blah blah. I was actually super busy these days because I had so many things to think. I was stressed out and I don't know, I didn't feel that good. I think I need some rest. It's very ironic because I've been on my vacation to Kojae like recently. I think it's like two or three weeks ago, but I need a vacation once more, I think. I don't know why, but like I feel like I have to go on a vacation. I want to rest. Anyway, so that's it. That's how my life is on. Now, let's go to my study. The study was very helpful as usual. Like, I don't know if there's anyone who's curious about our marketing study, but for those who are curious. So first one, we do this Jingmu study. Like we explain what kind of work we do. We all do something related about marketing, but marketing is like very big and we do like all different kind of marketing. So we explain what we do and what kind of side projects we do. And second part, we are doing this reference study each week we have a topic that we should study for this week i asked for luxury brand marketing all my study mates are like super cutting law people who are workaholics like study holic and who are super busy always doing something so i feel very motivated whenever i do this study now i came back home with a lot of things that i bought and i'm gonna show you guys that what i bought and I also have some unboxing. So on my way home, I bought a few snacks. I am a snack lover and whenever I get stressed, I always buy snacks, eat a lot of snacks. For today, I bought Uyesun and Kamjakgang. Oh, Kamjakgang. And also on my way home, I bought these two lip and eye remover and this is the remover I was using for ears. My eyes don't hurt and it easily removes eye makeup because I do a lot of eye makeup. And there are two unboxings. One is this cushion I bought. An influencer who I'm following did a kongu. I don't know what it's called in English, but it's like this influencer was selling this for a cheaper price. I never used it, so I hope I use it because normally I don't do skin makeup. And also another unboxing is I bought a new shoes. Starting from next week, I have to wear a lot of black clothes because of my event that's held on in my company. And I like you. I like like this sharp heels like views. So but I didn't want a big heel so I bought this. I bought this in Ably, which is like a big platform of a lot of brands and I didn't want to spend a lot of money to this shoes so I bought a cheap one. Hey guys, I'm currently in Ihua. Like I'm not exactly in the Ihua University. 
but I'm near Iha because today I have my nails and my eyelashes appointment so I'm heading there to get my monthly beauty stuff done currently I have my eyelash extension but the last time I did my eyelash extension was like a month ago so normally the eyelash extension has to be changed in three weeks or four weeks but I didn't have any time to go change my eyelash extension so and also I'm gonna get my nails done currently I didn't have any but I'm planning to have one new. got my nails done and also got my lashes done and currently I'm in Iwa I'm at my uni I graduated I wanted to drink something so I bought Kongcha and this is my outfit of the day I look like a student or something So it's Monday morning and it's kind of a miracle morning for me because it's almost 7.30 a.m. and normally I wake up at 7.30 or 8 a.m. but today I'm leaving at 7.30 a.m. to do my F45 workout. For me at least, it's a miracle morning. So first of all, I am going to work out and then work in my office. So let's go. I think these few days I was kept like working and came back home almost sleeping right after I ate dinner I'm back my colleagues or keep saying that I look super tired, I look gray, blah blah blah. So actually I am really tired I think. This is actually my first time doing my vlog, my entire vlog without makeup because I didn't feel like doing makeup this week because I had too much work and so much things to think about I just didn't want to do makeup Of course, it doesn't mean that I'm super confident with my face without makeup but we don't always have to be that kind of person who's always with makeup, I guess Anyway, that's only my opinion so if you think differently, it's super fine, no problem Anyway, it's the one event so until now this week was super busy i also didn't feel that much appetite so i didn't want to eat that much but one thing is i was really craving for spicy food or like fast food and today i have a bit of unboxings okay guys i have three big boxes for my unboxing i will start with my beloved brand days days here it's actually my first shopping in days days and oh my god it's very cute inside i bought a set of swimsuit and one dress what i uploaded on instagram <gasps> and this one's mine the one i really wanted actually like I'm not gonna try it on right now because I actually tried it last time when I was in the showroom and I already know how it looks like on me The second brand is Acme de la Vie So this one, I got it for free from Acme de la Vie because I am going to upload this on my Instagram I actually saw this brand in Hyundai department store when it was last time so I actually knew this brand but I always was curious how I should pronounce it this brand but it's Acme de la Vie I don't know if it's French It's a basic t-shirt with their name on The thing is, the closest, like, it's it's not like a normal bion It's like, it's not like normal cotton It looks like super efficient for drying out sweat And last one is Dr. Martens I bought this online i had a sale code so i got it a bit cheaper than the normal price Ooh. i actually want to wear this sandal tomorrow for the pre-opening event and i hope it fits my outfit and i hope it's not that unformal so i can wear it tomorrow i'm gonna show you guys how it looks like when I wear it. i'm gonna wear it right now 
I, I think it's cool, right? And because it's summer, I think I'm gonna use it often. Anyway, it's all for my unboxing today and tomorrow is the day, like the D-Day. So I'm gonna sleep early. I hope I can sleep early and tomorrow early in the morning, I have to go to the airport to meet a very special guest who is very important in our event this time and we have to go to this event super quick without any delays hopefully i'm gonna come back with a bit of story time if i can because tomorrow i'm gonna meet a lot of celebrities so if you are interested in iwc and if you're in korea i hope you guys also visit this pop-up event because it's gonna be cool but anyway done for today bye hey guys i'm finally back with a bit of story time I don't know if I can say it's a story time, but anyway, I met a lot of celebrities again in this pre-opening of my company's event. I'm gonna begin from the start. So I was super busy these days preparing for this event, the pop-up event, which is held in Lotte Tower. And on Friday, there was this pre-opening for press and celebrities. I started my day going to the airport, to Incheon Airport, to meet the watchmaker from Switzerland. And we went to the venue around evening and started meeting those press. And later that afternoon, the celebrities began to come to this venue and we invited like five celebrities which is Kim Nayong, Hodo Kunst, Lee Soon, An Bohyun, Lee Jung Jae and they are very top celebrities in Korea so An Bohyun, like if you have seen Lee Taewon class which is the super famous K-drama with Park se with this haircut he was the main actor there and also Lee Jung Jae like without words he's like the guy from Squid Game so everyone like globally knows him anyway so the celebrities came to this venue one by one and they were all so pretty and handsome and they were like so so cool it was not my first time seeing kim nayong because when i saw kim nayong the first time it was last year in dior show at my university at that dior show she was actually doing her youtube so she was very like energetic and very communicated but in this event she was very like charismatic super cool and her outfit was super cool it matched so much with this IWC mood and also Isom her outfit was like another level I really wanted to ask where she bought that or what brand it is because it was super cool and of course Lee Jung Jae was so handsome and tall and he was also very nice to the public he was waving his hand but the thing is the thing is I'm going home because An Bohyun was super super handsome like I don't know if it's because I didn't have a big expectation like I only saw Lee Taewon class and I knew he was handsome there of course but maybe it was because of his like character role he was like super handsome like another level like seriously so there were a lot of people at the venue so anyway I can't believe it's the beginning of the event so I actually am super tired <laughs> I'm super tired because like I have to work like for a long time and also I have to like explain about the venue and like introduce and stand up all day and like blah 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 but but anyway for sure it will be a very good experience for me i learned a lot anyway so that's all for this week's vlog i'm very happy for everyone who is watching my vlog and watching until the end so have a nice week and bye see you next time